Hi and welcome to Computer Chronicles 2.0. It's a look at computers, peripherals, and mods from a modder's point of view. Hi, I'm your host Eric Smith. It's very good to see you guys. Happy 2013. Uh, this, the, the holiday is over. Anyway, today we're looking at the new Legions. I'm saying new and improved. This is the new and improved Legion fan controller. 30 watts per channel and seven different colors. Now that's really cool because you don't have to plug anything in. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is push a button and you change the color automatically. It's that easy. And the controller is CNC milled, the faceplate. Uh, it comes with purple, yellow, cyan, white, red, green, and blue lights. It's got temperature sensors, four different channels, a switch to change LED display from the front with the colors, and the ability to change the front LCD display between voltage, Fahrenheit, and Celsius. The DC, 12 volt, and four connectors, and it comes with some really nice accessories. Uh, the first thing it comes, which is, I love this, it's got an extension power cable that comes with it. It's only about, I guess, six inches long. But it's enough to where you can actually plug it in after when you're doing your, your, your wire management instead of trying to plug it in at the last minute and trying to get your hand inside of a place that your hand won't fit. Also, the temperature sensors are very long and also... Uh, it has, uh, of course, four mounting screws, and uh, it also comes with each fan channel having its own uh, extension cord, which is about a foot long, and it's great for wire management and for wiring your computer and doing everything in stages the way that I like to do it. Um, I hate plugging everything in. Uh, before I've even put my power supply in. It's kind of hard to do. The NZXT, there's not the NZXT in here. Uh, this is the Lee and Lee fan. The NZXT is in my Lee and Lee case right now, and I'll be showing you that in a minute, but I wanted to show you the box. Uh, it's a 140 millimeter fan. Uh, it, you, it's an orange LED fan, and it's 83.6 CFM and 24.5 dBA which is kind of a whisper for most systems. The average fan uh, usually puts out about 26 to 29 dBA. So this one being 24 is pretty low on the scale. Actually, it would be pretty high on the scale of quietness. It has 13 blades, um, and these blades are transparent. And what it does is it, is it accentuates the LED lighting that's coming in to from from four sides. Um, like also, it uh, it's got uh, th this new long life bearing, and it, they're they're touting it for forty thousand hours of use. I don't know how that uh, uh, transforms into days or years, but uh, it's pretty long. Anyway, they they come in different colors as well. But you only have to you have to buy the, the color that you need. So they would get a different blue fan, a green fan, green fan, a red fan, an orange fan, and a white fan. And I really like these. The only thing that I didn't like about these NCXT fans were the, you know, where on the side of the fan that they usually put the arrows to show the airflow, like they show like an up arrow, and then they show like an arrow toward where the uh, air flow is going this don't have it so if you're not sure about uh, the airflow of the fan it's it's really good to plug them in check make sure you got your airflow right before you actually mount them you don't want to mount them twice uh, if I was uh, you NZXT if you're watching put the arrows on be great but other than that awesome so anyway, let's take a look now at the uh, NZXT 140 millimeter fans in conjunction with the G-Vans uh, Legion fan controller. G-Vans Legion fan controller. Now I say new, it's been out for a while, 
but this is new and improved we have done some major 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 uh, refits on this and trust me it is one of the best controllers out there bar none I'll just show you a couple of a couple of things about it um, here is the color change that you can do with the G-Bands Legion and also you, what you can do too is you can change from voltage to temperature and right now it's showing all ambient temperatures because uh, there's there's no build in the case so it's showing 73.8 74.8 72 73 this is degrees in Celsius four different channels and uh, the G bands are plugged into each one of these NZXT fans and as you can see number one is coming on right now and number two number three now they change the rheostats the rheostats are very nice very smooth indeed um, and um, quite literally a lot better quality product um, these are the orange NZXT fans and it's really hard because the little power supply that I'm using to do this is a very loud power supply so what you're hearing in the background if you're actually hearing any fan noise is from that power supply let me tell you these NZXT fans are absolutely silent you can't hear them and they're really blowing the air and when you put the front on there and you really build your positive pressure in the build you can really feel it, uh, it they are amazing fans and uh, and they look really really good let's take a look at the front of it it's gorgeous uh, uh, it's got uh, that triple uh, light look uh, but it's actually got four in it um, I don't know how they pull it off it must be something with the 13 fan blades but as you can see the fan blades are completely uh, transparent so they actually reflect the light that's coming out of the LEDs and really give it kind of a fluid effect that I hope you can see on the camera uh, the NZXT's are like I said the sound that you're hearing is not these fans these fans there's four of them running full blast at a thousand rpm and you can't hear them the problem is this old power supply here that's back from the 1980s runs a hundred watts is actually running this display so that I can uh, can show you these fans since I don't have an actual build in them but anyway this concludes another episode of computer chronicles 2.0 i'm derek smith and i wish you happy modding <laughs>